This is Matthew Nellis from MatthewNellis.com. Um, it's part of my uh, sort of regular features on the website. I thought it would be a cool idea to take a look at um, an indie game, different indie game each week, and give you sort of my first impression of the game. Hence the name of the feature, Impressions. Uh, yeah. Right, so moving on. Uh, this is a game called And Yet It Moves. Um, just start playing it. I'm onto this sort of second level now. It's just the demo that I've got. Uh, grab the demo from oh bloody hell! Grab the demo from PlayGreenhouse.com. Some very cool indie games on that website. Uh, but you can also get it from um, their own website, and yet it moves.net. And you can also grab it off Steam if you use Steam. Um, it's only about I think it's only about eight quid, eight nine quid. Um, oh god, that thing jump falls off. Crazy. Yeah, it's only about eight, nine quid, about you know, ten dollars. So, um, not very expensive. Um, I imagine there's quite a few levels, um, or worlds, as they uh, so inclined. So yeah, the, the object of the game is to get from, essentially, get from the start to the end of the level. And you got your little guy. I like to call him Jump Dude because I'm always telling him to jump. Um, and you can move left and right, you can jump, hence his name, Jump Dude. But the main thing about the game is that you can rotate the world using the arrow keys. And you see, you use that to um, get through the level, solve different puzzles, get through obstacles. Um, very, it's a very cool feature. I, I, you know, I, like, I, like, the, I like the hook of the game. Um, but it really messes my head up. I can never get my head around which way. Oh Jesus! Which way to rotate the world? Every every time I think I've got the hang of it, it turns out that I'm wrong. So um, hey, I got it right. That's cool. So yeah, I um, it's it's a very simple game. Essentially, it's just a platformer with but with this world rotation aspect. It's it's incredibly well done though. I love the love the art style, it's almost like cut and paste, hand drawn, sort of styly. Um, oh bloody hell, wrong way again. Ah! And if you, see if you fall, oh Jesus, oh squish. See if you fall from too f far, you um, you guy dies, ah that's squishage. Yeah so you can, you can die in various ways, you can um, Fall from too, f fall from too far, and you, you 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 crumble. You can get squished, or you can go into the void. He drops into the void, but he comes back at uh, these little checkpoints where you have a guy who handily tells you which way to go. Because, which is actually very helpful, because uh, you kind of lose orientation a bit. Oh, what? Oh, not cool. Yeah, you kind of get you lose your way sometimes. Well, I I lose my way, but then that's not saying much, because um, I'm not very good at this game. Ah, oh, Jesus, get through. Now, it is a single player game, but there is a sort of multiplayer. What the? Oh Christ! Oh yeah, survived. That's amazing. Yeah, there is a sort of not multiplayer aspect, but you can. Oh, this is death. <laughs> You can upload your uh, your run-throughs of each level, and um, in a sort of time trial racing sort of mode online, which I think is kind of cool. And anytime you bring in that sort of community aspect to these single-player games, you, there, there's always going to be people online who are better than you, regardless. If you think you're hot shit at a game. Uh, wait till you play it online. There, there's always going to be someone better than you. Now, I'm kind of stuck, stood here because I'm not really sure where I'm going. Oh God! How do where do I go from here? I'm really, I'm really lost. Oh, yeah, this way. That's where I'm going. Hey, look at that. 
You got two. What? Bananas? Are those bananas? They are bananas. And a monkey! <laughs> oh, big gorilla. Okay. Oh, I see. Right. Let's see what happens if I run into the gorilla. Is he gonna... Oh, oh. Oh, he just won't let me through. So, I reckon... I'm gonna have to get these bananas by rotating the world to my monkey man. Oh, and they... Oh, every time they get hit, they sort of degrade. Oh, Christ. Yeah! Monkey's happy and he lets me through. That's amazing. So I'm just gonna jump here. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna finish. I'll just quickly finish this level. I can imagine there's much left, much more left. Hey, there's my little end of the game bit. So I run through, get the end, boom, and I'm through. I win. So yeah, that's my sort of first impression. That then that's the end of the demo. Uh, that's yeah, that's my first impression of and yet it moves. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't think you can go wrong. Eight quid. It's not too much for a game. I think you'll get. Let's see what you get. The full version, sixteen levels set in three unique environments. You can compete with your time trial thing. Um, yeah, I like it. Oh, that's cool. I can actually move. Uh, so yeah, that's my first impression of. And yet it moves. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of the, my impression. Let me know what you think of the game. Um, if you like it, go go get the game. Um, next week, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be looking at next week. Uh, probably another indie game. I'll have a look. Uh, so yeah, that's it. See you next time, guys. Uh, this is Matthew Nellis from MatthewNellis.com.